What is up guys? Welcome to the studio. I'm John the Potter. We have a great kiln unloading for you today. This one I just pulled off the top. How cool is that? Little Norse blue and raspberry mist under lavender mist and winter wood. So there's four different glazes going on on this bowl right here. That's very exciting. Got some of these in there. Got a bunch of the new marbled, if you watched that one video a few weeks ago, basically glazed a bunch of all that stuff. And all that's gonna be for sale in the first restock of this year, which is Sunday, February 6th at 6 p.m. Uh, so if you want anything in here or anything on that shelf over there, it'll be available then. I hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I think after this, I unload this, we're gonna go on a little mountain bike. I'm gonna show you guys how us Minnesotans bike in the winter on the snow. Always looking for more winter activities in Minnesota. Let's unload this thing, huh? These were really fun to glaze. I'm happy they turned out so well. I like them. I like them a lot. Uh, and this, so a lot of what I do is I try and match up a color on the outside and then put it on the inside. So obviously there's some red out there. So that's why I put the red in there with a little strip of like a blue going on around there. And then in here, I thought I was gonna try just some different stuff in restock, throw in some little bowls. Like at, at my house, I don't know about what you do at your house, but at my house, we use all different size bowls for different stuff. These are kind of like mini bowls. Like they're a little smaller than you would use. You could put ice cream in them. You could put like nuts in them. You could put like, they're just little like snack bowls. Is that a good name for them? So this has winter wood, Aurora green around the top and then Norse blue too. So it's some cool stuff going on in there. Look at that, isn't that cool? Glazing the inside of bowls is always fun. Spoon rest. We'll have quite a few spoon rests in the restock as well. So cool. Love that. That's a really fun shape. I definitely gonna be doing more of that shape. Another one. Boom. Ah, another snack bowl. Okay, and then, so this was all my experimentation this month about this new kind of marbling. So here's two of the different kind of color combos just melted together. That's really, wow, wow. Uh, and that's got Norse blue on the inside. This, these ones have red. So it's like orange and red on the outside and bright red on the inside. And then got a couple bigger kind of just vase type pieces is what I was thinking they would be. And you, I don't know if you can see this, but around the top, I cut it so it was flat so you could actually see a little of that colored clay come through. Just little minor details. Fun, fun, fun. Whoa, ouch, 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 it's kind of hot. So this is a berry bowl, uh, winter wood with a roar green. Kind of neat, hot, hot. So this is a roar green, I think with raspberry mist and Norse blue. It's pretty cool, kind of crazy. Awesome, woo! It's hot, it's hot. Aurora green, plain Aurora green, I can't remember. I think it does, I think it has like a little Norse blue but mostly Aurora green, that's beautiful. Um, and then we got a bunch of these marbled. Ew, gross. That's not good. So this was a, just a bunch of different marbled clay I threw together. This one can go straight in the garbage. Straight in the garbage. I don't have to say that very often. Okay. These are cool. Blue surf on the inside. Orange and blue on the outside. Whew, these are getting hot, hot, hot. Got gloves on so I can handle the heat. Look at that. Okay, bluesy, greeny on the bottom, orange, red on the top, and blue surf on the inside. Wow, those turned out really good. I'm liking them. It opens up a ton of possibilities. Oh yeah. Got a couple more of these snack bowls. And the reason I wanna start doing this is because I can sell them for quite inexpensive, relatively speaking. No handles, like pretty quickly to throw. And I just think they're super functional and useful. And we use them all the time. Like I use more of those than I use mugs, that's for sure. Okay, so more of this shape of bowl, right? Where it's like really shallow, um, bright red gloss with Aurora green around the edge. Like that a lot. You gotta really like the color red. Bright red with Aurora green. For the first time ever in the last, I sold some stuff for Christmas and I got an email back from somebody that was like, oh, I'm really disappointed. Like, cause it had a spot kind of like that on it. And that's never really bothered me before cause I know what it is. You know, I know that like the Aurora green in the blue has these crystals in it and the crystals are kind of messy and they get places. And so, you know, often if it's like 
a little crystal will fall there. It'll drip down. It'll like just, you know, so it's not technically it's looks maybe like a flaw, but it's not. It's part of the glaze. And I don't know. Does that bother you? It does not bother me. And I continue to sell them like that. The bottom shelf. So a few more of these marbled tumblers with the dual color combos on there. This one has raspberry mist in the inside, which that looks really nice. Love that glaze, wow. Okay, so another one of these with the blue surf. And then some Minnesota mugs that will head to the Mocha Monkey. Satin Patina, Roar Green, and Winterwood. Holy cow. That is absolutely gorgeous. This, holy cow. Maybe this is actually sandstone. Yeah, it must be because it's different. So this is Winterwood and Aurora Green over Satin Patina, which only goes up to here because Satin Patina technically isn't a food safe glaze, but it's fine to put on the outside. So you just don't want to use it on like the inside. So I don't ever put the Satin Patina on the inside, just Aurora Green on the inside. So tumblers, those are really nice. So this is sandstone and I really like those, that glaze. That's super cool. Definitely gonna be doing a lot more of that. But these are Mocha Monkey mugs that will head to the coffee shop. Wish I knew how many of those I sold last year, but we were sold out of them for like months at a time. All right, there's just straight Aurora Green over Sandstone. One of my favorite combos that's just two different glazes. Same one. This is Aurora Green with Norse Blue over top. Eh, not my favorite. Probably don't need to do that one again. Final stuff out of here is more tumblers. Roar Green over Sandstone Tumblers. And that is it. Really good kiln. Absolutely nothing dripped, which is like always a miracle. Sometimes I have kilns where like 50% of everything drips just because I get too crazy with the combos. But today was a good day. So, I'm going mountain biking. Forgot about that. about zero degrees Fahrenheit right now and it's a beautiful day in Minnesota. Thank you guys so much for following along. I'm trying to kick out some more videos this year uh, at least once a week. We got some very exciting things coming. Check out all of our sales and August is our epic pottery event. September is the Art Wander. If you want to come check out my studio, I'd love to see you, meet you, talk to you show you my studio. All right, thank you guys so much for joining me. I will see you guys in the next video. Because I'm going for a bike ride. I'm going to miss you. You want to come with me? Yeah. It's a little cold out for you. I want to stay in the house and get work. That's a good idea. Especially I want to come with you, but I really want to get warm. Okay. How was PJ's? It was good. <laughs> um, I don't really think